Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Abroad Chronicles. It's 10 a.m. right now, and I just woke up. It's Monday, September 9th, my first day of school in a foreign country. just got dressed and ready for the day. For the first day of school outfit, I decided to wear these black jeans from H&M, white t-shirt from The Gap, and then some gold jewelry also from H&M. And of course, rain boots and a rain jacket because it's raining. Carolina, are you ready for your first day of junior year? Born ready. <laughs> I love that it's raining on our first day. First stop, Office Depot. Nebraska's finest, Man of Aaron, the year. coming in hot. Man of the year. <laughs> Just arrived at this place for, I'm not sure if it's breakfast or lunch because it's noon, but a pre-class meal. This is Aaron. Whoa. I just got off of the tram and now I'm at Corvinus University. This is the old building behind me. My first class is in this building. The first class that I have today is International Economics. Turns out my class is not in the old building and I was just chilling there for like 20 minutes. Now I have two minutes until class starts, so I'm hauling over to the new building right now. During communism, for instance, here in Hungary, uh, so I would assume that you were born after 1989. I did live during that time. The interesting thing was, who set the market price during communism in Hungary? It was the state. I just got out of my first class, International Economics, in the new building, and now I'm going to head back over to the old building where I have my second class, which is Hungarian for Beginners. I really enjoyed international economics. I think it's really cool to be able to take international economics in an international country. Um, I get a new perspective, especially from the other exchange students and my professor who is actually Hungarian. Also, Hungary just came out of communism, so it gives me a super unique perspective from that viewpoint. So my second class of the day, like I said, is Introduction to Hungarian or Hungarian for Beginners, and this is a required class for all exchange students here at Corvinus. Guitar. 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 
I'm done with Hungarian class now and I'm headed to my last class of the day, which is a double block class. It's globalization. And I'm with Jordan because he's in this class as well as my Hungarian class. I actually had a lot of people from the API program in my Hungarian class, which is going to be great because we can all study together. I just got out of my last class for the day, which was globalization. This class, like I said, was a double period, but our professor decided to let us out early and cancel the second half of class for the day. So now I'm headed to go get dinner with Jordan. In globalization class today, we were talking about how the definition of globalization is the sharing of ideas, resources, and knowledge between countries in the world. My professor mentioned how we as exchange students are a perfect example of globalization in action. I thought that was really cool to think about because I have students in my class from Germany, Italy, France, Canada, Slovakia, Slovenia, all over the world. By sharing ideas in class and bringing them home to our countries, we are practicing globalization. Yeah, so there's literally a movie being filmed right here across from my university. I'm not sure what's going on, but this is pretty cool. You seriously cannot beat this commute home from class. It's a few days later now, so I've finished one full week of school here in Budapest, Hungary. And I had a few reflections that I wanted to share with you, some contrast between school here in Hungary versus at home in the United States. So first of all, something that I've noticed is that exams make up the majority of your grade, as opposed to at home, which exams do matter a lot, but we also have heavily weighted assignments, papers, um, group projects, attendance, class participation, etc., etc. Here your midterm and your final exam really make up the majority of your grade and i'm talking like 70 80 percent of the grade another couple of things that i've noticed are regarding fashion and one thing is that i've noticed people dress up for class a lot more than we do in the united states here you definitely can't go to class with wet hair you can't wear sweatpants or leggings um, or athletic clothes in general and a lot of people are actually seen wearing dresses and heels or button-down shirts and khakis like really nice clothes um, whereas back at home I would just throw on like leggings and a sweatshirt I kind of have to dress up for class here and also regarding fashion people don't wear backpacks here I guess for men it's like a little bit more common but you never see a woman wearing a backpack it's always just like a side um, like a, a big purse I guess you could call it but one of my Hungarian friends actually pointed out to me, she was like, oh, we love seeing you Americans in your backpacks. It's so cute. And I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Also here, it's considered very rude to stand up to go out of class, whether it be for the bathroom, to get a drink, for any reason. And our classes are fairly long, like an hour and a half to three or more hours long. So if you have to go to the bathroom, you really can't go. And a last observation that I've made is that there's really no organization to the schedule. At home, we have classes either on Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday, or you could have like a one day class. Um, but here, they're really kind of all over the place. I have some classes that occur two times during the day, so I'll have one block in the morning, one in the afternoon. Um, I have some classes that are on like Monday and Thursday or like for three hours on one single day. It really depends and it's different for everyone in every class. So it's kind of hard to plan with everyone's schedules, but I kind of like it because it adds a lot of variety to your week. 
that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed following me along for my first day of school in a foreign country.